Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you three simple exercises that you can do at home to strengthen your lower back. As we work from home, lower back is one of the biggest topics that I get in clinic and for that purpose I'm making this video to help you strengthen your back and reduce any back pain that you might get after your work day. So when working from home, we're sat down and at our desks for a long period of time. So the three types of muscles we're going to focus on today are the glutes, the hamstrings and the rectus spinae. So why did I pick those three groups of muscles today? The reason for it is our lower back is so important when we're lifting. The reason why the back goes into spasm, uh, there's various numbers number of reasons for that the one of the major reasons for lower back pain is uh, lack of uh, function or lack of movement lack of strength in our muscles surrounding our lower back so let's start with our rectus spinae which is a muscle that comes from the top of your pelvis all the way up to the base of your skull um, and they attach onto the spine so they give a massive support to our spine when lifting, when bending forwards. Moving on to the glute, uh, we've got three different types of muscle there, glute mid, glute minor and glute maximus. Uh, so all three of them have a, a massive impact in our hip area, lower back and going down to the leg. So they really are the powerhouse to supporting our lower back and legs. Our hamstrings are attached to the back of the knee and to the base of our pelvis, which when we are bending forward, our pelvis is moving, therefore pulling on the hamstring. So now that we know what the three different groups of muscles do together and how they support our lower back, I'm going to demonstrate to you a quick example of how you can recruit those muscles. So the number one muscle that we need to focus on is our powerhouse, our glutes. Uh, so let's get started on um, that. So if you lay on your front, just like so, and what you want to do is just contract the glute muscles. So squeeze the glutes together, squeeze and relax. So you squeeze and you relax. So to recruit those muscles and get those muscles fired up, I'm going to bring in the uh, Pilates ball. What we're going to do is lay on our front. Place the ball on your hamstring, bend your knee and hold it there. What you then want to do is lay on your front, contract the glute and bring the knee up. Like so the key is to contract the glute first and then drive the foot up towards the ceiling. The next exercise will be the hamstrings. So I'll place the ball in between our feet and lift the legs up. So key here is contract the glute first. So again, going to contract the glute, bring the leg up and back down. So our final exercise will be to work on the rectus spinae. So for this exercise, we're going to lay on our front and this time around, we're going to extend our arms forward with the ball on our hand and we're gonna bring our chest off the floor. Key here again is to contract the glute first and then bring the arms up and lifting the chest just slightly off the floor. Contract the glute and lift the back. The importance of working these three muscles is to get them firing up 
uh, but making sure that the glute is the powerhouse is the first muscle that is contracting and that is providing that strength uh, for when our lower back does lift off the um, mat or when we are lifting something up our glutes are fired before our uh, rectus spina kicks in so just to demonstrate on a real life day-to-day -day activity that we might do uh, how would this uh, apply then okay so i'm just going to quickly demonstrate how you can lift something safe put all those three exercises into mind making sure that our glutes are firing before any of the other muscles so what we want to do i'm just going to place the ball down hopefully it stays there we go <laughs> so we want to have our hit our feet width apart so essentially you want to have your hip, your heel underneath your hips what you then want to do is have a slight bend on the knee and you want to hinge at the hip slight bend on the knees hinge at the hip make sure you're contracting those glutes grab the ball and lift so we're going to do it from the side bend the knee slightly engage the glutes come down grab make sure your glutes are firing and lift if you give those exercises a go let me know if you feel uh, a benefit from these exercises do remember if you feel any pain at all do stop you can always message me on my email and i'll get back to you do like and subscribe here leave a comment let me know how it went and i'll speak to you on the next one